that's where we came up with this idea of how we can use solar better. When we looked at what solar could do, it's a theme that kept occurring to us is how do we get energy to everyone everywhere? It is truly life changing. There's three billion people in the world that don't have access to reliable power, half of those not having access to power at all. We're talking about life changing technology that we take for granted. It's the ability to refrigerate medicine. Now all of a sudden you have penicillin. Not only can it power a home in rural Haiti, it can also help the city of Port-au-Prince following the major earthquake. When we were in Haiti, the young men that were with us, their eyes light up about what they could do with this. And then to actually see them come back to us with business plans of, here's what I can do with this. How do I get one? This is a radically different approach to how we use energy and will radically change lives around the world. We are a leader in innovation for the agriculture and water sector. What we do is collect data from the energy utilities. We can find electric signatures that are characteristic of a leak. So when we find one, we just send a text message on their phone and that's it. They are on their field, they can go to it and fix it. A lot of farmers and ranchers grow high value crops like vines or almond trees. If they have a leak in their drip or spray irrigation system, it can jeopardize the entire crop. I had no hope of getting electricity. I used to buy candles of 600 per day. But now I just need the sunlight energy to charge my solar panel. Red Pay Power works very simply using the solar panel. It puts the sound energy in the battery to do so many things. I use Red Pay for lights, phones, radio and TV. We've been having so many accidents from using Tadoba. Children get burned. The ready pay light is safe. Now I get a lot of customers because I have a bright light. I can even work for five hours at night. And we've invented a new way to purify water. On the developing world, there's over 1.1 billion people that don't have access to a safe water source. All the water in the Yucatan Peninsula is pulled up out of the aquifers. They get most of their water from wells that were drilled, but they're very shallow wells because a lot of the water is very close to the surface. And so the water is filled with toxins, including pesticides, heavy metals, and harmful bacteria. So obviously carries lots of risk. We were supplied with the solar bags by the International School of Beaverton, who did a fundraiser and wanted to do some humanitarian work that bought us 50 solar bags from Purelytics that we were able to take down with us. And once we got there on the ground, we were able to do just conduct trainings and distribute the bags to 23 families.